it's mm -hmm. tension in the group and then it hasn't been addressed because of the pandemic everybody's been home okay. quarantined don't nobody gotta see nobody and really i don't you know jonesy i haven't even talked to her like in a long time because of the tension it just it didn't work out the way that i would have liked it to well i can't wait i just i'm gonna get me a drink and i'm gonna sit back and i'm just gonna see what happens i mean i don't know if i ain't gonna... messy or nothing but i sure like mess no one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. No one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. And they stay talking about me, and they stay thinking about me. I'm that bitch, it ain't my fault. They don't talk about me like they blow. No one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. No one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. And they stay. Hey. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm here at the office cleaning up and. My mentor, Pastor Jamal Bryan from New Birth, um, he gives me a call and it's like his timing is impeccable because all I could think about is I just needed to talk to him. But um, he checks on me from time to time just to make sure that I'm getting reacclimated because he knows my journey. I don't know how you be helping you a life coach and a fix it woman. <laughs> a fix it woman, yeah. You know, since I've been home, you know, I've been so overwhelmed with getting myself back together, the anxiety, the change of everything, you know. So, um, you know, I just called to get your advice. I've been watching you and you're doing a whole lot, uh, but I think that you need to really just sit down and breathe. Uh, you're under no timeline to catch up with time. So I know that you've got to do a lot to uh, recalibrate with your kids and figure out what to do with your business. But you also have got to mentally decompress. So Pastor Jamal is helping me with my book, um, which is a memoir, and he's helping with some business ventures. But most importantly, you know, he's helping me with my spiritual journey. And that overall of everything that I'm doing is most important. You've been through a lot. Uh, and so with that, uh, allow yourself the space to do nothing. Uh, and not feel bad about it and not apologize for it, but you don't have to be busy all the time. As much as you're cleaning up that office, <laughs> clean up your thought process, and right? what it is that you want to do next. Well, you know, like I said, it's just been very, very, very hard. Um, you know, like I said, you have kids, but society and everything, the reacclimation has just been overwhelming. You know, so. You just turn off the survival mode, my button. Oh, how to do that? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm the biggest hypocrite. I'm telling you what I don't know how to do. <laughs> I'm right to yeah, to figure out a way of realizing I'm not here for a limited amount of time. Uh, I'm here for the rest of my life. Right. Uh, what is that going to look like? Right. Uh, that uh, you are now reassessing that I have to check in with me. Not with an authority, not with uh, any structure. To ask myself, how am I doing? Right. And, and, uh, your daughter's trying to get things done. Your son is trying to move into another realm. But where you you are, you are five seconds from being an empty nester. Right. Yes. <laughs> you got to make sure that them sticks right. don't become thorns. Uh, right. And uh, I, I want you to know you've survived everything. That's why you're here. And because you survived it, you no longer have to prove anything. No. Oh. Ooh, easier said than done. I, I know. <laughs> easier One said. One time, sweet Jesus. Yes, yes indeed. indeed. Yes, indeed. You can do it all. I'm here for you. Okay. Are you gonna be? Um, you're gonna be back in town for church Sunday, right? That's the only way I keep my job. I'll be back. You coming? Absolutely. I'm definitely gonna come. I think I'm gonna bring a plus two. Um, um, my partner with uh, Boss Girl Inc., the nonprofit I was telling you about. Um, she wants to bring her daughter, so um, I'll, I'll reach out to your administrative assistant about... No, 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 you know, tomorrow we're in the parking lot, so you don't oh. have to. One. You bring whoever you want. Okay, well, I bring a whole entourage of people then. <laughs> bring a whole entourage, live from HBO. <laughs> Call me when you pull it up. Okay, sounds good. Well, you enjoy your day, and again, thank you. Just, you know, I'll... Call back in with oh, something. I got, <laughs> I got you. Love you. Praying for you. All right. Thank you. Love you back. All right. The most important thing I'm taking from this is 
being patient, slowing down, and, and just taking things one day at a time. That advice is something that I could use on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, it's it, it was what I needed when I needed it. So I'm thankful and appreciative for that. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, you Thanks. need that. Appreciate it. Oh, of the course. ice cream is great. What flavor you got? I had the banana, the uh, banana, but then I got that's non-dairy, and then I got the salt or caramel. Uh, you know, I had to mix it up. Yeah, Just yeah. Just taste it. So let's catch up. So I'm meeting with my manager, Arturo, today so I can figure out what we're doing for the next six months. Like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I've been locked up 25 months, and I'm ready to get back at it. You know what? I think your story, your journey, your home, I'm excited getting you reacclimated, building your platform on a digital presence right now. That's the goal. You know, getting your followers to 100,000 followers, mm -hmm. you know, take the next six months and build. And then when you come with your nonprofit seminars, there you, there you go. Talk to me about the nonprofit. Well, like I said, when I was away, man, all these women locked up, mm -hmm. either for a dude, uh -huh. for trying to get ahead, and I figured, like, me and another young lady, we were locked up together. Mm -hmm. So that was like my, 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 my dog, you know uh -huh. what I mean? So we sitting there chopping it up one night, and we talked about letting women know they work early. Mm -hmm. So when they get my age, they ain't out here doing dumb That's all I'm saying. So, you know, having a manager is like having a, 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 a step boyfriend, if you will. Okay. So I'm always like, any woman that I'm managing, I always like to know, so who are you dealing with? What is your personal side? Who's your boyfriend? Is there a friend? Because whenever you're dealing with somebody talented, there's always someone that is lingering, in my experience, that kind of pulls the person and keeps them from being all that they need to be, especially at these such these pivotal moments. Well, like I said, when I came, came home, you know, I was kind of dealing with my child's father before I left, but he still, he ain't ready, you know? So he hurt me really, really bad. Mm -hmm. You know, like, to the point where it's like, I'm home now, like, you couldn't even get it together so we could be, you know, good together. Mm -hmm. And I think I was just attached because he's just, you know, my baby daddy. Mm -hmm. But toxic relationship, we shouldn't even be together. So then I started seeing somebody and he been kind of taking my mind off and then, uh, good dude. Mm -hmm. But who is he? Somebody met at the halfway house, <laughs> which is a no go because that's how I met my my first baby daddy. Uh -huh. um, my son, my 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 smaller son's baby daddy. I met him in the halfway house. So it's like history's repeating itself, and it's not a good look. How long you been locked up for? The the guy. The guy. Um, eight years. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. You don't need that. But. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, you know, I, I'm yeah. a man, so yeah. what's, what's, what's going on? When me and Arturo was, you know, walking and talking, you know, he uh, saw a bruise on my neck. And I really wasn't comfortable talking to him about my personal business, um, but he's more like a brother to me. So, um, again, like I said, it was just, it made me very, very uncomfortable. You've already overcome so much. Right. You don't even Anyone that loves you wouldn't put their hands on you, but it's about you loving yourself. Even though like I felt uncomfortable speaking to him, I know that he has my best interests at heart. You know, if he didn't, he wouldn't be my manager. Sometimes we get caught up in things and... But that's what this process is. That's what this process is. And a lot of talented people, eclectic people throughout the world, it's real <laughs> Everybody is Everybody got issues. There's no blue book, book given to us in life, especially as colored people, black and brown people, whatever you are. I mean, you know, everybody's pretty much growing up and or some happens in their life and you're trying to put back together. So there's always, we're all So I want to take that weight off you. It's not about yeah. that. You're a special, powerful woman and now you're building these blocks to building your brand. All of these layers, and that's why you gotta, you know, you come home, you know, yeah, you, mentally you're going through a lot of You know, that's why I think it's great that, you know, you have a mentor in Jamal Bryant. I think that is the most, when you, when you said that to me, mm -hmm. I said, he's a pastor, Jamal Bryant. 
and you're in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He's an activist. No. It, I mean, you know, yeah, don't, don't, don't spill the banana pudding. Right. You can put it in mine. Okay. Well, all I'm saying to you is, you know, it's a lot of things that I got to get together. And yeah. that right there was a little, I was a little off task. But uh -huh. when you go through such a horrific time uh -huh. and just being isolated and, you know, the core thing is everyone want to be loved, you know? And from a childhood trauma to everything that I've been through, it goes back to, you know, you be good to people uh -huh. and then they ain't good to you, yeah. so. I think I got a few ideas for Six month plan, photo shoot. Uh -huh. I want you in the gym. Oh. I want this book written. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You yeah. said gym? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause, cause. I just like wearing the clothes. I didn't physically really want to go to the gym. But you know what, but you know what? Okay. Lena Hampton, the brand. Okay, I got That's you. That's what it's about, so. The big picture. And, and then you'll be able to sell tons of merchandise too. Cause okay. then you'll be able to tell, you know. Hold okay, your, I need you know. a before and after. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can do all that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, are you gonna come to the event I'm having tonight? What's that? It's a what one. you having tonight? Hey, don't worry about it. Just show up and be clean. Yeah, I ain't say, yeah, send me the address. Yes, yeah. I will send you the address. It's just a little wine tasting, a little get together. And you know what? Yeah. I think I'm gonna give me one, yeah, give me plus one. A plus one? Yo, it couldn't be more perfect. I'm about to lay the surprise right on Carmen at Lena's event. <laughs> <laughs> it's go time. I need a plus one. I'll think about it. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna freeze this ice cream. Oh, the ice cream? <laughs> So I'm shopping, trying to get fresh. I need me a hat, so I pop up in BM and Franklin. <laughs> Looking around, crazy hats. I find one, I'm, 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 I'm about to buy it. You know how I feel about everybody in their fashions. Sky. I got a new girl, too. She might need some. Yeah, I might need your help with that. But for the most part, you know, I need to get them together, so. Let's see. That's Arturo. What's he doing here? I needed something good for tonight's event to celebrate Lena. I've already got my nails done, Versace, Terrence Terry. And you know, I just wasn't sure what else I was gonna put together with that. So Lord Brody hooked me up and was like, let's go shopping. And guess who we run into? Arturo. What are you doing in the hat shop, sir? He's so extra. Um, hello. Right. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up? What's good? What Brody are you Carmen? doing down what's here in up? the hat shop? What's going on? You? you shopping? I'm shopping. I'm trying to get it together. You know, I'm trying to get it together. Yo, what's up? It's Arturo, international manager of Super Saco. Yo, about 346 million YouTube views. And here, it lands me to Atlanta for Super Saco's next single, which features Offset. I tap in with my partner, Carmen Simmons. It's, you know, putting everything back together with InStyle Atlanta. I think I got a few ideas for her. So what y'all doing? I'm just taking a stroll through the neighborhood, looking for some looks. You know, Brody be helping me get these girls together. Tonight's uh, Lena's dinner party, so, you know, I need I need to be on point. On point. They yeah. need to be on point. Uh-huh. So you know, it everybody's gonna much. see each other. You know what, Lena, is a story, you know, know. she's a, Atlanta. she she did two years in phase. Oh, really? Fed Diva, for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> you would <laughs> never know yeah. that she was in any yeah. type of trouble by looking at mm -hmm. her. She's very well articulated, very, looks very pretty girl. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she had to do two, two fits in Fez. Yeah, so now oh. she's back, mm -hmm. made it home, getting reacclimated. You know, into society, getting a job. She's got kids, you know, so. Yeah, we're gonna have a dinner party for her. Yeah. Time, so uh, that's what today is. Is there anything for. I should worry about? Do I need to wear like a blue vest? <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, the, I'm just making sure. Fez, that, Fez she, she got caught knows. up in some money. I need to stop dropping roll real I think quick. it's like, I don't know, laundering or oh. something like that. Like, you have so to ask her to let her. She's not gonna pick, pick pocket. But you know but what? That's why Arthur Rose yeah, I'm managing. Yeah, okay. I'm managing. Yeah, I'm So I'm managing Layla Hampton, the Fed Diva, and then CJ from Bossa. Carmen don't know yet, but 
I got this idea. CJ's a brand. Listen, I know that should be what Carmen needs to install Atlanta after the pandemic. Listen, I'm bringing it over. <laughs> and you know what? I got something for you too later on. I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, everybody's gonna be together. I don't know yeah. if I like, I like this. this. Say stuff like that. Oh, that's. Can I pull up with this? That's dope. That's yeah, that's, right. a, yeah, that's yeah, a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know Try what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get this. I don't like surprises, and I know what surprise means when we're talking about Arturo surprises. We're business partners. We've been working together for quite some time now. I don't need an Arturo type surprise. Please. What? Yeah, see, that's why, Brody, I need you as my assistant. Okay. I need you as my assistant. Hold on. I need, look, I know, I why know, I know. With me. What are you, what but, are we but doing you know right what? now? Bruh, Brody belongs to me. Yes, I'm being territorial. Oh, yeah, it has unisex? Like, this looks like I could wear it too. Yeah, men's, women's, kids. That is dope. And they're custom made too, so. Is this like. What's going on with this hat? It looks like it's denim, <laughs> but it's not. It's a special type of straw with a special type of dye treatment. It's fire. Yeah. Oh, I like this crown though. Yeah, it's uh, super relaxed. I didn't even peep you put this crown. <laughs> <laughs> so Carmen mentioned to me Lena needed a location to have her event. So, you know, I do what I do, make some calls. I give you the rooftop. What else could you ask for? Man, we get to Lena's party and um, the vibe was like real cool. It was on a rooftop. We had food. Y'all know I love food. I could eat. It was really laid out, brought together. I cannot thank Brody enough for what he's done. That is, yeah, everybody enjoyed themselves. So Lena's having a get together, which is great. It's our opportunity to see everybody that she's missed over the last two years that she's been gone. Plus, she's invited the Install Alina team and we know they haven't seen each other in <laughs> just as long as she's been gone. So I think tonight is gonna be lit. So on a rooftop, we're gonna have food, we're gonna have drinks, and everybody's gonna be meeting and greeting for the first time in almost two years. Welcome home, Lena. I can't wait for tonight. <laughs> Look, I invited you guys here because, you know, of course I'm just coming home and a lot of you guys played a very intricate role in helping me through my journey, and I appreciate you guys. Some of my closest friends, Chris, Stan, Serenity, Carmen, and some of the other ladies that I do know before I left, you know, and I just wanted to tell you guys thank you because it really means a lot that you guys have done so much, and now we have a lot to do, so again, the turn up is real. I mean, we happy you home. We. Yes, welcome home. <laughs> they done freed the real. They done freed the real. Because I don't drink alcohol and I don't have no blame. We got Instacart on the way with some water. Uh, y'all had my glass before y'all even did that toast. How you not toast with me? As you know, as you know. Somebody, somebody yes, here had a cupcake. Yes, <laughs> Genuine, it was real, and it was 1,000. So I salute Lena for that. Like, Lena is like cool, solid, 100. A real OG, basically. At this point, I'm coming back in here, and it's like me versus everybody. So, so yeah. is this my surprise? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is just a surprise. Yeah. Oh, this is a surprise. <laughs> Josie. Josie's back. Yes. In walks CJ, and I'm like, this bitch is fake in the room. Like, in here, hey, how y'all doing? Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm CJ. I'm this man. Like, we don't do Like, just say hey and keep it moving. Well, it's good to see you. I know there's um, some tension in the room. Let's let's just keep it real. When I walked in the room, nobody really spoke to me, but I'm okay with that. And why I'm okay with that is because I'm me. I feel like in order for us to all work together, we probably need to talk about why we haven't all seen each other in a long time. Coronavirus. I'm not mad at CJ. I don't with CJ. That's two different things. I don't get mad. I don't rock with CJ anymore because of the way she moves. 
I, I what I'm saying is that in order for uh -huh. this all to work, mm -hmm. and there we, you know, we flow in a way that there's no hostility, or at least everyone is. There ain't no hostility anyway. Like I don't give a enough to have hostility. People come into your life for a season, a reason, or a lifetime. Her season has ended. It is over. Change like the wind. I'm done. Let's see what what is the issue here. I don't know. My issue is my friend of 20 years, when I reach out to you and you don't respond, that's a problem. I'm not about to beg you. I'm not about you to- You don't have to beg me. I don't need But see, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, more than one time, bro. Like it. You, 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 you right. You exactly. right. And every single yeah. time, every single time, I was the one that was like, "Yo, what's up?" Because every single time, who thought it was yours. yours. I'm not putting nobody business out in the street, but you know what the girl code is. You sit here trying to say that you have no accountability for anything that's happening in our friendship. What I do? That's what you're saying. What I do? What you do? Yeah, but you know what I do. All right. With that being said, say less. Exactly. So because the thing about it is, it's like, I like to talk to people that actually what sit I here have. and actually hold an accountability for their part. It can't Jack. all fall on one person. Jack. But what I'm expecting is, let's, let's step outside. No, I'm not stepping over. I don't even know what the issue was. So y'all know what, what child it was with me anyway. But what I know what time it is. Jet being in jet fashion, she want to sit here and do it like she did. Like, with us being friends for so long, she could have definitely kicked it in like a different way. I ain't never told you to chew. With that bitch here talking about, about she gonna sit here fight she won't let you. No, I don't, I don't care. It's the fact that she fucking did it. It's the fact that she fucking did it. I wasn't there. And I told you. I told you. You're right. And you're right. You know what I did that day? You know exactly what I did that day? Carmen, what I do? I almost left. Because I didn't want to ruin your Carmen, what I did that day? Carmen, what I do? I almost left. Because I didn't want to ruin your I didn't want to ruin your Stop! Right, you right, stop! Right. You don't gotta touch me. You all gotta. What are you talking about? Touch? No. At some point in time, say, hey, I'm not rocking with X, Y, and Z. Say that. We're that grown to say that. And you are also grown enough for you to have, like, take my response. And whether I agree or I disagree, we ain't in high school. Just because you're not rocking with somebody, don't mean I'm not rocking with that person. It has nothing to do with me. Don't do that. No, folks, so let, let me talk. Let me talk. She knows she, was she not wasn't there. Was there. But I called her on the phone. You can ask her and my sister. I called her on the phone and I checked her about you. I said, that's what you're not going to do. I said, you're not going to be disrespectful because at the end of the day, I'm friends with both of y'all. I checked her. So miss me with nothing to let what? If you somewhere, if I'm somewhere and you not there, and she decides she want to sit here and get all leapy and leap in my face, you not there. So therefore, what I do, whenever you had something with her, I chose to remove myself. I almost removed myself from Riri's birthday, just because I know you've been friends with her for a long time. I'm never gonna sit here and ask you to choose. And when I it comes, when question it, her loyalty either. I ain't never. And you had to question mine. And have before. Okay, have, you right. Have, both, we both have. have. We both have. We both have. No, Absolutely. Me. We both have. Oh, At that point in time, I thought we all completely got past that point. Because that's how we even how ended up friends to this point. How long have you been doing? Over 20 years. Okay, yeah, they've been friends so, for a long so time. So this is family. So, mm -hmm. so it's worth it. The conversation is worth it. The working together, the getting over is it's life. It the is. question is, is this something that can be that. mediated yes. and repaired? I'm, I'm done. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm done. Like, I don't have time for it. I just like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to deal with it. All right, I'm not. not so it, so it, 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 it. Y'all go this brand. I'm out of here. Like, I'm done arguing and fighting and drama, like, that's not me. I don't do that. Like, I haven't been that pissed off in a very long, I don't get that mad at my baby daddy, bro. More so it's just like, she's hurting just as much as she's hurting. Yeah. yeah. If there was something wrong, when I did call and text you, come on, come you could have said on, something on, right on. then and there, yes. and you didn't, bro. Yes, yes. You didn't, that don't make yes. no sense yes. to me. When you keep poking that bear, guess what? Bear's gonna bite. So I'm gonna walk off, before it get real ugly, and if it gets ugly, it's not gonna end. What are you talking about, bro? Yo, I'm My dog died. I care about that. I care about this. 
I'm done with this I'm ready to go. On oh, Jesus, daddy, get me the up out of here. Cause I gotta go. At this point, are we cool now? No. Are we cordial? No. Are we moving back towards that moment? No. Could it possibly happen? Jesus walked on water, so yeah, anything can happen. And he also turned water into that cheap ass wine that production be having. However, if that can happen, there's a, always a possibility. I'll never say never, but at this moment, nah, I'm cool. And she cool, and we just gonna keep it that way. I'm no one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. I'm no one they cannot stay, but just stay my biggest fan. And they stay talking about me, and they stay thinking about me. I'm that bitch, it ain't my fault.